second vlog and I'm gonna share to you my experiences and journey as Miss OFW Aman 2019 actually guys wala siya sa isip ko na sumali ako but thanks to my friends who pushed me through uh, trip trip lang kasi ito ng mga tropa but since I don't know how to walk I don't know how to project and even answer properly sorry for my lapses sa video na to sa mga Q&A na kinakabahan ako Thank you dahil sa mga taong nagbash sa akin, I get the crown. And while I'm cooking my ampalaya for lunch and dinner and maling, I'm gonna share to you the video. Miss OFW Oman 2019 jersey. We are raising the awareness of our organization in the Philippine Republic. Thank you. Uh, uh, joining the show is the winner of um, the winner of Miss OFW Oman 2019. Uh, we have Miss Charlie Palisok. Hello and welcome to the show. And, uh, Thank you. So, how are you feeling today after winning the crown? Honestly, sweet, it was so real until now. It doesn't sink in in my mind because mm -hmm. after that pageant night, I was totally tired. And then when I wake up the next morning. I feel like back to work again. It's like nothing happens. Like I'm dreaming, and everybody's keep on telling me congratulations. I was like, oh, thank you, <laughs> like that. And I keep on reminding myself every day, every single minute that I'm part of the beauty pageant. I'm a beauty queen. You know? Yes, and of I course. Feel of course, you know, they say that if you want a title, duties and responsibilities, you know, just come in. Mm -hmm. So before we get into yeah. that, um, can you tell us what does Miss OFW Oman stands for? It stands for Overseas Filipino Workers in the Sultanate of Oman. Okay, um, mm -hmm. great. So let's talk about the pageant. Can you tell us mm -hmm. about your, you know, experience throughout the whole competition? How did you prepare for this? Throughout the competition, actually, it was a short notice when I came back to Oman from vacation, it was so hard because we are all working. We have uh, met every day. So okay. we, we have scheduled meetings, rehearsals and pictorials and some of us skip our work to attend. We cannot mm -hmm. meet during weekdays so, due to our broken schedules and different work locations. So I'm coming from Mawali South, others coming from um, Kurum. We had only two months almost for the preparation before the pageant and things was rushed especially it was the holy month of Ramadan here in Oman. Okay. So during that time, so I need to meet my friend Elisa. She's living in Al-Qud 6. She's the one who pushed me to go through to attend this pageant. She helped me and then we will go to Rui, to Jesse for my makeup artist to meet him. Okay. To do the makeup and everything for the pictorial. It was like end-to-end -end location. For, but good thing I have my friend Tick Boy. He's managing all the taxi and he wow. stopped us yes and also i need to do my diet it was so hard during that time okay. it was my struggle there was time that i was in the taxi i wanted to quit like i feel like i cannot do it anymore it's like three weeks before the pageant i don't have anything at all i don't okay. have gowns i don't have costumes <laughs> i don't have salons or shoes so I, I was too much pressure and Jess was shouting at me, my friends were shouting at me because yeah. I wanted to keep during those time. But thank God, it was all done. Yeah. Thanks for my friends. Oh, it's so emotional. It's so worth it. And I think thank it really you. takes determination and discipline, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. but yes, I just want to say that you look so beautiful and perfect that night. So, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, if you can think of it again, you know, the pageant, what was like the unforgettable moment that you had, you know, during the whole pageant? During that night, well, I, I have three things that keep repeating on my mind. First, during that pageant, I pray harder. Pray mm -hmm. that night when I get into the top three. I, wa I just wanted to be in the top three. That's it. Okay. I wasn't so sure because I wasn't able to, to answer during the frisbee competition. I wasn't able to finish my, my answer mm -hmm. during that time. And the first Q&A, like, how, while they are reading the question, nothing's coming on my mind. Like, I'm mentally and totally blocked. Final Q&A, I didn't hear 
what my fellow contestants and candidates have answered and we are wearing headphones and during those times I will keep on praying that God gives me wisdom to answer those questions. And by after I answered those questions, I saw my friends and my colleagues, they are standing and clapping. Uh, that's a rewarding moment for me, even I don't have yet the crown. And uh, when I got the crown, they anna- announced it. Honestly, I, I don't, I don't, I didn't. I will be crowned. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. But then it happened. And uh, yes, and you're feeling like you're a winner because of your supporters. And my yeah, thank you so much. Okay. okay. And uh, well, apart from the crown, of course, you got it, the title. Uh, what are the other things, you know, that you Filipino community to be mm-hmm. involved in our society, especially our Filipino domestic helpers, those okay. in need in times of trouble, because it's so sad to hear and see those people, our Kabayans, walking inside the embassy, crying, asking for help because they have problems. And I want to raise a voice and awareness regarding those people experiencing this depression because I have friends experiencing this kind of this depression especially when uh, about their works, about their families. And as Miss OSW man, I will showcase what our culture has in the Philippines. I will showcase what the con- this country has, and I will show it what we can do better for the society. Well, perfect. That's so great to know. You know, you're using the victory, your victory on spreading awareness and, you know, helping your, you know, fellow countrymen. That's so good. So would you like to share any advice to aspiring young people? For sure, you know, there are a lot of young people who would like to join uh, pageants and who would like to be beauty queens in the future. Yeah, for the young in the future, first know your capabilities, where you are good at and use it as your advantage to empower yourself. Secondly, conquire your fear and learn to accept all your flaws because at the end of the day, it's only you who will conquer your fears and read a lot. Pray oh, harder wow. than you used to do. And there you and have it, guys. I'm done cooking my okay, ampalaya. Ampalaya and shot. That's my favorite good And the money. So breakfast, yeah, I'm open to lunch, dinner I'm open to criticism because it will help I'm you grow to be your career in the future. And, and don't forget where you came from. And enjoy each moment of your life. And for those friends and people asking me how much the price of that pageant, friend, even if it's in Mascatuman, the price is 200 Oman area. Yeah. 200 yeah. money real that time the conversion I'm not really sure if 133 or 132 pesos and let the expenses shine friend it's really negative ha para sa mga pamilya ko dyan experience lang talaga to and aside from that thank you because I got a beautiful gift from head to toe to JC Premier Oman shout out sa kanila binigyan nila ako ng gift and uh um, face shop from head to toe also they give me a package to Vantage International they give me a Forza t-shirt Forza t-shirt and lipstick and also I got a beautiful bouquet from Crown DC Studio and I supposed to have a free Armenia tour package I think best it's 4 days 3 nights or 3 nights 2 days I'm not really sure but ang sakit best expired na siya Expired na siya, hindi ko siya nagamit. So anyways, guys, nagtatanong kayo, nasa ng corona? Friend, ang corona, wag mo nang itanong. Ang importante, nasa akin ang titulo. And if you insist na nasa ng corona, friend, PM mo ko, sasabihin ko sa'yo kung ano ang nangyayari na kakaloka. <laughs> okay, stay tuned to my third vlog and I'm gonna get back to you. So time for eating. Ciao!